hello everyone in this video we will see how to pass various types of parameters to operation contract so in our last video we already saw this operation contract that is nothing but get data now we will try to add few more operation contracts to this interface or service contract so from here onwards whenever i say service contract means interface and whenever I say operation contract means the method of that interface. So instead of saying interface, I'll say service contract. And instead of saying method, I'll say operation contract. Now we will try to add few more operation contracts with different parameters. So this is what we have already done. Now I'm going to add few more operation contracts. Those are nothing but get message so in this i'll be passing string as a parameter and it is going to return a string another get result where i'll be passing student id student name marks 1 marks 2 marks 3 that means i have multiple parameters and it is going to return a single string that is the result whether pass or fail depending upon the average of marks 1 marks 2 marks 3 I'm going to take one more operation contract that is get max in which I'm going to pass array. That means we can also pass arrays as parameter. And I'm trying to get the maximum value from that array, which is going to return an integer. Finally, uh, I have a method or operation contract that is get sorted. I'm going to pass an array and it is also going to return an array. So I'll be passing unsorted array and it is going to return a sorted array so i have all this operation contract so i'll simply copy this and i'm going to paste it here save this i need to implement them in my service so i'll right click on interface and say implement interface so in get message i'll simply say Return Hello Mr. or Miss the name that I got the parameter for this I'm going to calculate average double AVG equals to m1 plus m2 plus m3 by 3.0 for typecasting and i'll simply check a single condition that is if average is less than 35 it is going to return a string that is nothing but fail else it is going to return a string that is nothing but pass that's it in get max don't worry i'm not going to write the complete logic as i have already implemented that i'll simply copy it and i'm going to paste it here the logic is same what you might have done in your c programming to find out the largest number from an array i assume that the first number is largest and then i iterate through the array and i'll check if the element is greater than largest then i'm going to swap it finally i'll just return the maximum value so i'll save this for get sorted i'm going to use the method of class array array dot sort i'll simply pass array now this array will get sorted and i'll simply say return array save this that's it we are done with all this uh, implementation i'm going to execute this so here i get the list of operation contracts i'll double click on get data invoke this is the old operation contract that we implemented now get message here I need to pass input parameter that is nothing but say Manzu. I'll simply invoke this. 
I get hello, Mr. or Mrs. Mamzur. Next, get result. Here I need to pass student ID, student name, marks one, marks two, and finally marks three. I'll say invoke. So result is pass. Next, get max. Here I need to set the length of array. Say I'm trying to pass five elements. Now, if you see that I click on this smart tag of array, I'll get all the five boxes. And I'll pass elements 45, 90, 87, 78, 89, 12. The largest among all these numbers is 90. So it should return 90. So it is working fine. Now get sorted. Again, I'm going to set the length. I can set it anything. I can here I'm going to set it six. So I should pass six parameters: 23, 89, 34, 90, 45, 2. I should get a list of all these elements or array with sorted. I should get a sorted array so I get array sorted in ascending order so this is how we pass various kinds of parameters now in our uh, next video we will try to see how to pass an object is we will try to re-implement this where we are passing student id student name marks one marks two marks three so instead of passing all these different parameters i will try to pass object of a class so in the next video we will see how to pass object of a class in operation contract so that's it for this video thank you very much